Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. Don't need the clipboard again today. I'm going to talk about another recent lesson I've just had. And uh, that was with uh, one of our favorite tour pros, DJ Trahan, my son. I met with DJ uh, and, and uh, we, did some, we had a really great day together. We, we did some uh, putting stuff, but most importantly, uh, I guess everything's important, but, but uh, we also uh, really did some work on, on his golf swing. And, and ironically, it was like he who did the work on his golf swing. So I'll tell you how it came about and what he was doing is he called me up to come and check him out to make sure it was right. About a week or so ago, uh, while out on tour, he decided to check his, his setup in the hotel room one night and, and they had a nice big mirror in there so he could check it out. And remember, if you're not in a hotel room, you can always use your best buddy right here, the shadow over there. He can tell you a lot of things. And so, but uh, with the mirror, DJ was checking it out more, his face on at, at height, at, at eye height. And he uh, grabbed the club, or at least he just made believe he was holding the club or whatever. And he told me that, that he got in there and, 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 and he noticed that what he thought was preloaded heavy right was by no means even close. And, and, and many of you, when I see you at golf schools and private lessons that are, have been really working on a preloaded heavy right, this is one of the most common mistakes that I see. And many times, as, you, as you've heard me read dailies over here, uh, the questions that come in, uh, students will say, well, I, I thought I really had it down pretty good in, in my setup and my swing, but when I finally met you at a golf school or a private lesson and, uh, and, and got hands one-on-one -on -one with you, I realized that, that despite hitting the ball as good as I was, I was not really in the... In, in the peak performance setup and, and then naturally after we get them in the right setup their ball striking becomes even more superior and, and, much, and much more consistent in terms of solid and straight and in many cases hitting the ball longer because as you know the setup determines the motion. This is the number one thing I see with preloaded heavy right and I see a golfer in here and they know that I talk a lot about having a bow in the body, that you should have a bow at a dress, and as you take a good backswing, the bow should get even, even bigger as you, as you, as you turn uh, and, and transition into your, with the bump into your forward upswing, okay? So they end up getting like, th they get into a position like this. They stand here and they do this. They go like that. And they feel preloaded heavy right. They feel a nice bow here, and they, and they feel preloaded heavy right. Now the point is this. Yeah, the, your head's back there in, in the, pretty much your shoulders, but where is, your, where is the ultimate of your body? Your, most of your body, if I draw a line straight down from my sternum straight to the ground, it's coming, it's coming right down here through, the, through the, the right side of my chest. And, and, and basically, the only thing back here is my right shoulder and my right leg and my head. But the, the biggest part of my bulk of my body is on my left leg. The test I give everybody is to stand here and, and close your eyes and draw a line straight from the center of your neck down to the ground and tell me which way can you move your body, move this sternum one inch. Can you move it one inch that way and pick up the back foot or move it one inch this way and pick up the front foot? And I think, and every time I do this drill with folks, with a golfer, yeah, they, the, it's like flicking on the light switch or pulling a, pulling a switch on a light bulb. Boop, it comes off because they stand here when they close their eyes in this position like this and they close their eyes, all they got to do is go like one inch that way and they're picking up their right foot. From this position, they'd have to move about the day to pick up their left foot. And how much more movement was that? It was at least about that much as compared to that much, an inch or so that way. And so right away, the bulb comes on and, and it says, holy cow, I wasn't preloaded heavy right. And the beauty of doing this drill is, is, as you, is if you were over here preloaded heavy left versus preloaded heavy right, as you go from here and start going there, guess what you are going to start feeling? You are going to start feeling the weight on your right leg, your back leg. And that's the key. Many golfers don't ever feel their right leg straightening up, and that's all we see. Anybody that's too far forward or turning too much, and your weight's going over here, they don't even feel their right leg straighten. I say, I ask them all the time, do you feel your right leg straighten? No. Well, the reason why you can't feel it is because you're not on it. The muscles are not that as engaged. They're not engaged enough to feel it. And so what, the muscle that's working the most is the one that you're gonna, is going to be making and receiving the most recognition in your brain is what's going on because that's the leg, that in this case, that's the leg that's working. So if you're getting over onto your left side, you don't feel hardly any weight on your foot. Heck, you could probably pick your left foot up, your back foot up, I mean, and bounce it or whatever with the heel. And, 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 but you can't, you can't even sniff, even picking your, you know, 
wiggling your toes, never mind picking your heel up when you're when you're this way, because you're you're totally on your left side. And so this is where you're closing your eyes a lot of times and, and just starting to feel where your body is, you can start feeling things better. And so when you're preloaded heavy right, or heavy back, shall we say, depending on what side of the bar you're standing on, when you get over there, you should be able, like I said, you should be able to just eyes open or close, just go like that and start to feel like, like your foot can come off the ground. Hell, if, if I'm, heck, if I'm really preloaded heavy right well enough, I can almost do it just like that, which means the weight's back here, not over there. All right, so that's a really critical thing. So what's one of the best ways to really feel it? Take your normal stance for the club you have. And, and, and again, we, got, we have to make sure that when we go preloaded heavy right, we're going over with our hips level. We're not, we're not causing tilt. Because if I go this way, that's no good because, because I'm kind of on this foot. All I gotta do is like that to pick it up. But look at the angle of my hips over here. You can see just about my belt line, this leg is up and this one's down a little bit. The knees are not level. The knees are, are not really level. And so I'm out of position and I've tilted forward. So I might be, my weight might be back here with my, hip, my lower body now, but my upper body's that way as compared to this way, most of the upper body's that way and, 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 not, and the lower body, the whole left side's more that way than here, all right? So the key is, is we have to do this level. So one of the best examples I use is just take your belt, put your hands under your belt, both at your right hip and your left hip, and get into a pretty good posture, and just, just pick the belt up a little bit and just drop yourself here. So just kind of like pick your, your belt up and just move it about, move yourself about one inch and drop yourself on your right leg. And then right if you're there, you could just do that really quick and you know you're there. But it's a levelness back here. And then you can tilt your shoulders a little bit more and you have, you have your upper body back here and get that bow. We don't want the, the shoulders cannot be level. They have to be the back shoulder lower. So just, just get in here and do this. DJ just kind of feels, he, when he gets into his posture, he stands up straight and he just goes like that. And, he, and, then, and then when he grips, he has his grip and he goes down, the shoulders tilt, which gets the upper body even farther behind. Because remember, our mantra is, our surgism is, if you want to hit the ball straight to a little draw, the head can never, ever, ever, never move forward of the ball, move forward, period, in the forward upswing until after impact. You must be behind the ball at impact, and that's what allows us to straighten the arms out and get maximum width of arc approaching the ball with the club coming in, in shallow, so we take those, those shallow divots because we're swinging up, but we nip the ball off the ground, we tear the grass out of the ground, and, and, and now that happens from behind the ball. Most golfers with rotational swings today are playing golf on top or ahead of the ball, all right? We're staying behind, just like, just like baseball players who hit. You see them standing here, and, they, and, they're, and they're behind the ball when they hit it, unless they're trying to do what? Go to the opposite field, then they get out ahead. But if they're trying to hit it relatively straight or pull it, they're doing it from behind the ball, all right? So get yourself in line, sit on the right side, make sure your hips feel fairly leveled. At the end, once I finally tilt my shoulders, my right hip will go down a little bit, but the point is, is if the right side is down, that, that's gonna be able to have me push up and, to, and hit the shot. So just get over here, boom. Right shoulder down, and then from there, bingo. And you start hitting it more solid straight, very likely longer, and shooting those lower scores. So that's it on getting preloaded heavy right or preloaded heavy back, whichever term you want to use, to get in the proper posture so we can arms can straighten out because we're behind the ball, moving into it at impact. Okay, and that's it for the search for today, and I'll be talking to you all again soon.